Hello, I'm Shan Li. Let me show you how to draw the pie chart in this plugin called Figma NB Charts. Let's take a look. The types of pie charts are divided into normal and nightingale rose charts. I will draw them separately later. First of all, we need to create a new frame. Then click the drawing button. The basic pie chart is finished quickly. I'll switch to nightingale rose. This is what the nightingale rose chart looks like. In the following demonstrations, I will use normal pie chart as an example. Take a look at this schematic diagram of the hollow radius diameter. I set it to 30%. Okay, I again with the bigger hollow. A hollow pie chart is actually a donut chart. The text on this pie chart cannot be seen because it is white. I now change the color of the text to black so that it can be seen. Click the drawing button. Now you can see the text. I restored the hollow diameter to zero. Please pay attention to the display position of this text. Currently, it is 0.6. When it is greater than 1, the text will be displayed outside the circle. I set it to 1.2. The texts come out. Here you can choose the content you want to display. What is currently displayed is the data name. I changed it to the name plus percentage. Okay, that's it. Next, I will show you the data settings. This selected refers to highlighting a certain piece of data. There are currently three data. Data 1 is selected by default. The meaning of this offset can be understood. By looking at the schematic diagram, I set the offset value to be larger. The effect will be more obvious. This is the result of selected. I then change the selected one to data 3. It's this purple color block. Okay, let me turn this selected off first. Next, I will demonstrate how to add data. Click the plus sign to the right of data. Data 4 will appear below. There is a scroll bar here. If I pull the scroll bar down, I can see data 4. I'll add one more. Each piece of data can have its name, color, etc. set separately. I will change the colors of the two added data respectively. Our color palette can set gradient colors for color blocks. Click the small dot on the right. To set the gradient color, you need. I change the data values to make the gradient area larger, then click the drawing button. Now, the pie chart is divided into five areas, and the color block is gradient. Let's take a look at the settings for strokes. Turn on the stroke switch. Stroke width and color can be set. Click the apply to all button. In this way, each data in the pie chart will have a stroke. But when these strokes are superimposed together, they become thicker. I'll change the position of the stroke. Click the Apply to All button again. Take another look. In this way, the stroke looks very suitable. Next, I switch to the Nightingale Rose chart. Let's take a look at its hollow effect first. Oh, I forgot to remove the stroke. Go below and turn off the stroke switch. Then click Apply to All. OK, the strokes have been removed. I'll make the hollow radius a little smaller. Then take a look at how a certain piece of data is. Highlighted in the nightingale rose chart, select data 1, and then set the offset larger. Okay, this is what the nightingale rose chart looks like when a certain item of data be selected. This part of the tutorial is over. Thanks.